Good afternoon. Uh, this video documentation is in regards to the E30, 32, 34 chassis headlights. Uh, pretty much the concept for the connectors, mainly to connect onto the CLB models, are very much the same throughout all the chassis. So I just want to take a minute or so to work with my coworker to pretty much show you how to reconnect uh, some of the connectors that we included. From our understanding, uh, these 9006 and 5 connectors should be pre-inserted uh, already onto these caps. So however, if for any reason it has not been or you pull them off, uh, I just want to take the time to easily show you or demonstrate to you how to place them right back. So if you have a uh, plier tool or anything like that, what you want to get uh, wanting to do is actually insert these pin with the plier on back to the uh, rear housing cap pins. I do understand that they might be a little bit difficult to push in by hands, but this, uh, this is why we're reasoning uh, or we're asking for you to use pliers to maneuver the pins back into the, the housing cap pin. So you can slowly work your way in there and then you, you'll see that uh, it's able to reinsert back onto the headlights caps pins. And right there you can see my coworker is going to do a quick tug to show you it's already yeah, firmly in there. So go ahead and uh, uh, put in the other pin it, uh, as well. At this point the yellow wire with the black connector or the, the white wire with the black connector, the color coding of the wire does not matter because from my understanding, I'm getting the understanding that you most likely have a sealed beam model. So the sealed beam model does not have a 9006 or a 5 connector. What you're actually going to be doing is uh, cutting these wire off and then tapping to the appropriate positive and negative wire to your factory wires so that you can continue using the low and high beams. Uh, on top of that, I just want to mention to you that um, you could use either or wires because mainly, again, you're utilizing just the wires while cutting this off to uh, connect it onto your factory connectors. If in the case that you pulled the, the cap off and then you notice that the grounding wire is not inserted onto the, the headlights, you can easily reground the, the wiring using the black connector, of course, and then what you're going to be grounding on will be this tower. So my coworker is going to go demonstrate this for you. So you reseat that and that pretty much grounds the, the grounding negative. And conversely, this will be actually your positive to power uh, the housing bulb. So if you have a housing bulb already inserted onto the projector or even the high beam spot, what you're going to be doing is inserting this back to the, the, uh, the housing bulb pin that's left open on top. Again, this pretty much summarizes the documentation in a brief uh, recap of how to reconnect the 9006 and 5 connectors, mainly for the CLB models, and then how maybe to uh, reconnect your halogen bulb connectors. Thank you so much for your